Hey everyone, ever find yourself scrolling through endless kitchen designs online and just get totally lost? Yeah, it can be a bit overwhelming. Totally. Well, today we're diving into how AI can actually help us navigate all that, sort of like a design partner and a visualization guru all in one. It's really about making the design process more, well, approachable, yeah. you know, and also maybe even, dare I say it, fun. So we're talking AI tools, things like ChatGPT and MidJourney, helping us generate those kitchen ideas and then actually see them come to life. Exactly. It's like having this digital sketchbook for all your kitchen dreams. Oh, I like that. But we're not talking full-blown blueprints we can hand to a contractor yet, right? Right. It's more about sparking that initial inspiration, you know, helping yeah. us visualize different possibilities before we even start picking out paint colors or pulling out the toolbox. Okay, so more like a starting point than a finished product. I'm intrigued. Let's start with ChatGPT, that AI chatbot everyone's talking about. How does it even work with kitchen design? So imagine describing your dream kitchen to ChatGPT. You tell it all your style preferences, what features you want, even those wouldn't it be cool if ideas. So I can just chat with it. Yeah, and it takes all that information and creates a detailed description of a kitchen concept. Hold on, so I could say something like, I want a kitchen that feels like a cozy cottage meta modern art gallery. Exactly. And that's where it gets really interesting. The more creative you get with the prompts, the more unique the results. It can push you beyond like your usual design boundaries. You know, it helps you discover things you might not have thought of otherwise. So it's like having like a superpower brainstorming session, but without having to actually gather all your design savvy friends. Exactly. But OK, let's say ChatGPT gives me this incredible description. How do I actually see what that kitchen would look like? Well, that's where MidJourney comes in. Okay. It's an AI that basically creates images from text descriptions. So you feed it the description that ChatGPT came up with, and it generates a photorealistic image of the kitchen, complete with lighting, textures, even the little details. No way. So I could actually see my Cottage Meats Art Gallery kitchen. Like, would it look like something a professional designer made? Well, with MidJourney v6.1, the newest version, the results are insanely detailed. We're talking almost photorealistic quality, a huge range of styles, and even those really wide panoramic views you see, perfect for visualizing a spacious kitchen. Okay, I'm officially mind blown. So MidJourney takes ChatGPT's words and turns them into art, basically. Pretty much. And the level of customization is amazing. It even has this enhanced image prompting feature where you can be super specific, like what kind of cabinets you want or the countertop material. So this is all awesome for getting those creative juices flowing and seeing different possibilities. But how does this actually translate to a real kitchen? Like, I can't imagine just showing up at a contractor's office with a bunch of AI generated images and being like, build me this. Yeah, you're right. These tools are great for generating ideas and visualizing them, but they're not meant to replace human expertise. Right. So where do the humans fit in then? Think of these AI-generated designs as like a starting point, a mood board for your conversation with a professional designer. So I can show them these images and be like, this is the vibe. Exactly. It helps bridge the communication gap and make sure everyone's on the same page from the get-go. Now, what about for people who are more into the DIY route? Can AI be helpful for those of us who aren't working with a professional designer? Absolutely. Just imagine being able to test out different layouts and color schemes in your own kitchen. You know, even try out different materials virtually all before you commit to buying anything. So it's like having a virtual design lab right in your living room. That's yeah, amazing. Exactly. And as this AI technology keeps developing, I think we'll even see more immersive tools, maybe using virtual or augmented reality. You'll be able to walk through your AI designed kitchen. Whoa. OK, so I have to ask, what can't AI do when it comes to kitchen design? It almost sounds too good to be true. It is pretty amazing, but it's important to remember AI is still a tool and like any tool, it has its strengths and weaknesses. Okay, so it's not magic. Right. It can do amazing things with generating ideas and creating stunning visuals, but it doesn't understand the practical aspects of, you know, actually building something. Things like plumbing, electrical wiring, building codes that still where human expertise is essential. So AI gives me the pretty picture, mm. but it can't tell me if my dream kitchen is going to fall apart or if it's even allowed. Pretty much. And it's also important to remember AI doesn't really factor in your lifestyle, like your cooking habits or the needs of your family. That's something a human designer can really help with. So it sounds like the ideal scenario is a team effort, AI and human intelligence working together. You got it. The human brings the expertise, the practicality, the personal touch. AI brings the speed, the creativity, the ability to actually visualize those ideas. I love that. It's like we're giving human designers superpowers. Exactly. And that's what's so exciting about this whole field. It feels like we're just scratching the surface of what's possible. Okay, I'm totally on board with this AI-powered design revolution. But before we go full-on Jetsons with robot chefs and self-cleaning countertops, let's take a breath and think about what this means for the average person, someone who's just starting to think about their dream kitchen. That's a great point. 
In the next part of our deep dive, we'll explore how you can actually start using AI in your own kitchen design journey. Whether you're working with a professional or tackling a DIY project, we'll share some tips and resources to get you started. Awesome. Can't wait to hear those. I'm feeling inspired already. You know, it's really interesting to see how AI is shifting from this purely technical thing to being more of a creative partner in the design world. Yeah, a creative partner. I like that. So are professional designers like on board with this or are they seeing it as a threat? I think, you know, there's definitely a growing number of designers who are integrating AI into their work. They're using tools like, well, ChatGPT and Midjourney to explore different concepts, test variations, and even to communicate ideas better to their clients. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like it gives them this superpower, right? Yeah. To be even more creative and efficient. Exactly. And it frees up their time and energy to focus on those things that really need that human touch, you know, like understanding the flow of the space, the client's lifestyle, making sure the design is functional as well as beautiful. Have you seen any real life kitchens that have been designed with this AI collaboration? There are more and more popping up all the time. One that comes to mind is this project where the designer used Midjourney to visualize ideas based on the client's Pinterest board. And they were able to try out so many different styles and layouts super fast. And the client was just blown away by how well the AI captured their vision, even though they hadn't really been able to put it into words. Wow, so it's like the AI almost acts as a translator between what someone's imagining and what they can actually see. Yeah, exactly. And it's not just for professional designers, you know. DIYers can use these tools too. So even if I'm planning to renovate my kitchen myself, AI can help me get a clearer vision. Absolutely. You can play around with layouts, colors, materials, all virtually before you even start buying anything. It's a game changer especially for those who might find the design process a little daunting. I think it makes design so much more approachable, less overwhelming. Okay, this is all super exciting, but we've talked about what AI can do, what about the limitations, what should people be aware of? That's a good point. It's important to remember AI is a tool and like any tool, it has its strengths and weaknesses. It can create these incredible ideas and visualizations, but it doesn't yet fully grasp the practical realities of construction. Right, so it might design this amazing floating countertop but not realize it can't actually support any weight. Yeah, exactly. Things like load-bearing walls, plumbing, electrical, building codes, all that stuff. Human expertise is still absolutely essential. AI can't replace a skilled contractor or architect. So it gives you the inspiration, but not necessarily the instruction manual. Right. And the other thing is, AI doesn't really get personal preferences and lifestyles. It can analyze data and make suggestions based on patterns, but it can't understand your unique needs in the same way a human can. So it might design a sleek minimalist kitchen, but not realize that my family loves to bake together and we need space for, well, a little bit of chaos. Exactly. A human designer takes all those things into account, you know, to make sure the space is both beautiful and functional. It's finding that sweet spot where creativity and practicality meet. Yes. So really the magic happens when we combine AI with human expertise. It's not about AI versus humans. It's AI and humans working together to create spaces that are innovative and livable. I like that. So it's like we're giving humans superpowers, not replacing them. That's a great way to put it. Okay, so let's say I've been playing around with ChatGPT and Midjourney. I've got these awesome AI-generated ideas. What's the next step? Do I just take them to a contractor and say, build this? Mm. Well, not so fast. Those designs, they're more like conceptual sketches, a starting point, not detailed blueprints. So how do I take those sketches and turn them into a real kitchen? That's where those human experts come in. You can take those ideas to a kitchen designer, an architect, a contractor. They can help you translate those concepts into a plan you can actually build. So it's like AI is our brainstorming buddy, and then we bring in the professionals to make it a reality. Exactly. AI helps push the boundaries of what's possible, and human expertise makes sure it all comes together in the real world. I love that. So it's a team effort. It is. And we get the best of both worlds. All right. So we've covered a lot of ground here. AI generating ideas, creating visualizations, working with designers, even empowering DIIers. So where do we go from here? What can our listeners do to actually start using these tools in their own kitchen design journeys? That's a perfect question to wrap up this part of our deep dive. In the final part, we'll give you some actionable steps and resources, whether you're just starting to dream or you're ready to make those dreams a reality. Awesome. Can't wait for that. I'm feeling inspired already. Okay, so we've explored all the amazing things that AI can do for kitchen design, from generating ideas to working with human designers. Now let's get practical. How can our listeners actually start using these tools for their dream kitchens? Well, the great thing is these AI tools are getting easier to use all the time, even if you're not, you know, a tech expert. So I don't need to know how to code or anything? Nope. Platforms like ChatGPT and Midjourney are designed to be pretty user-friendly. The best way to start is just to dive in and experiment. Sign up for a free account, 
play around with different prompts, see what kind of designs you come up with. So it's more about exploring and having fun than like needing some special skills. Exactly. Think of it as a playful exploration. You might be surprised how quickly you can start creating some really cool stuff. All right. So no need to be intimidated. Just jump in and start playing. Any specific tips for using ChatGPT for kitchen design? With ChatGPT, the key is to be really specific and descriptive in your prompts. So instead of just saying, I want a modern kitchen, try something like, I want a modern kitchen with clean lines, integrated appliances, and lots of natural light. The more details you give it, the better the results. So it's like giving ChatGPT a really detailed mood board, but with words. That's a great way to think about it. You can even tell it specific materials you like, colors, features. For example, I want a waterfall countertop, a farmhouse sink, and open shelving. And what about Midjourney? Any tips for using that to actually see what those ChatGPT creations look like? With Midjourney, it's all about using those descriptive prompts to create those visuals. So once ChatGPT gives you a good description of your kitchen, just copy and paste that into Midjourney. So we're feeding Midjourney the words from ChatGPT. Exactly. And the cool thing is you can experiment with different art styles, aspect ratios, levels of detail, play around with the settings and see what you like best. Sounds like a lot of creative freedom. Definitely. And the other exciting thing is these AI tools are constantly evolving new features all the time. So what we're seeing now is just the beginning. Oh yeah. In the future, we might even be able to interact with these designs in virtual or augmented reality. You could walk through your AI generated kitchen. Wow, that's incredible. So for our listeners who are ready to dive in, where should they go to learn more and start exploring these tools? There are some great resources online. The ChatGPT and Midjourney websites both have tutorials and guides to get you started. Plus, there are tons of YouTube channels and blogs dedicated to AI and design. So there's a whole community of AI design enthusiasts out there. Absolutely. And it's growing every day. Don't be afraid to reach out, ask questions, share what you're creating. It's so cool that we can access these powerful design tools right from home. It's like having your own personal design studio. I know. It's really a game changer. And as AI technology keeps advancing, the possibilities for kitchen design are just going to get more exciting. Yeah, well, that's about it for our deep dive into the world of AI-powered kitchen design. From brainstorming with chatbots to visualizing those dream kitchens, it's amazing how AI is helping us unlock our creativity and design spaces that really reflect us. Remember, it's not about AI replacing human designers. It's about AI and humans working together, using AI as a creative partner to push the boundaries of what's possible. Combine the power of technology with human ingenuity to create kitchens that are not only beautiful, but functional and meaningful. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll all be sipping cocktails made by robot bartenders in our AI-designed kitchens. No, that's a future I can get behind. That's right. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of AI-powered kitchen design. Happy designing, everyone!